What's up, ladies and gentlemen, YouTube, everybody out there? It's Phil 20, and I'm back. Check it out. I've got a crate in front of me. Somebody's delivered some stuff to the door. We're going to find out what's inside. Uh, I believe it's going to be pretty cool. Let's check it out. There's the power selector. Pretty good sized cable, so I'd say it just switches. So far it's pretty big. So what I'll do with this is I'll mount it to the truck so I can uh, easily move my equipment around that I need. It swivels. It swivels on a dime. I mean, it's smooth. So this is a half a ton crane. It'll do 1,100 pounds, 550 pounds, or 220 pounds fully extended. So here. So we got the Ruxel crane mounted, bolted down, and I wanted to go ahead and test it out with a, a small motor right here. It's got a hook there. I'm guessing the weight is more than a kid's motorcycle or so, uh, 150 pounds, 200 pounds, something like that. Uh, not exactly sure. I know it takes more than one person to put this in the back of my truck. Uh, so, I figure we can uh, slide it over on the tailgate, lift it up, and uh, drop it down on the ground. So currently I got a pair of extension cords running the device because uh, I haven't actually run power wires to it. I'm just using extension cords, it actually works pretty well. Um, and everybody needs a set of extension cords anyways. So. I'm going to rotate this around here. This is going to tighten it down. Somewhat. We're going to lower the boom by holding down. I wish I had a handle right here underneath this. I'll probably make one so I can hold on to it or a handle right here so I can rotate the whole thing. Probably better to have it off the axis and have it here so it doesn't actually go where you want. All right, so it's lifted up pretty well. I'm gonna swing it over 
to right here. I'm gonna set her down. Boy, truck squats, don't it? So, uh, I added a bracket to the top of this bed so I could lift heavier things with uh, confidence, let's say, because the bed frame is just sheet metal underneath. It's not thick steel on the truck. So, to provide ample amount of torque, to hold it up, if we use this plate and a U-bolt holding it up, it seems to do any job that I could ever need to be done. This weighs fairly good amount. I don't particularly pick up, you know, 2,000 pounds, but, uh, or 1,000 pounds, half ton. This is half ton, 12 volts. I I absolutely believe it'll pick up a thousand pounds with this bracket on here, no problem. Uh, but you also have to use this uh, pulley as well. fairly happy with the product uh, it does a really good job for lifting heavy equipment and since I can attach it to a simple truck like this one with a bed and add additional strength by putting this bracket on here I, I added this bracket separately uh, but I'm sure they'll probably start putting a bracket like this in here or if you guys just want to make your own you can I just made it out of a u-bolt that I got for electrical conduit and then I welded the uh, bolts that was there to the plate and drilled through them so I could tighten and loosen with uh, separate bolts I bought additionally. Nuts that I bought additionally. It works pretty good. It looks like this bracket looks terrible, but it seems to make uh, things a lot better. Now, I, I do know it's got this, uh, this here for, you know, moving back and forth. But if you got a thousand pounds on there, it's, it, you got to pay particularly close attention on how much weight there is. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, say one more thing. The positive and negative on the back of the motor, the plastic is reversed. So all you got to do is if it runs backwards, you swap the red to the negative and the black to the positive, and then it'll run forward like correctly. So up and then down so up and down is moving correctly i'm pretty happy with this device uh this was a product review they asked me to review it and i'm pretty blunt honest when it comes to everything i do uh either i like it or i don't and i like this machine um they are it's a pretty good machine. It's pretty surprising how useful that is already. I haven't had it but a very short period of time. And now I gotta redo this motor here. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, we'll work with uh, what we can do. And I actually got a plan for this motor. We're, we're gonna turn it into uh, a bigger three phase power converter. So what we're gonna do with that is swap out my old five horsepower three-phase power converter and put that 10 horsepower three-phase power converter in there that way I can uh, have more torque on my machinery my three-phase machines once I get that done it'll be uh, pretty cool 
Uh, I'm gonna I'll be excited. I, I do like it. Um, don't know if it'll stay on this side or not. We might move it to a different facility and you know start doing some videos on different topics. Uh, we're working on some projects behind the scenes nobody really has ideas about, but um, I'm getting excited and I, I think you guys will be excited too. This is Philip 20 with solar power, electricity, and electronics. Peace out.